Okay, so this is an overview of our science project on Internet of Things and we are focusing towards automation of circuits, basic circuits, consisting of a relay like this, which is ancient technology to be honest. We are using a Raspberry Pi 2 Model B as a microcontroller, hooked up to Wi-Fi through this little USB adapter. We have this breadboard to make the necessary connections without soldering. And we have this these LEDs cut into four strips, consisting of about eight LEDs each. They are four volts LEDs, and they are white in color. And I've used the jumper wires to make the connections here. These are the GPIO connections. And what's special about this project is, so the Pi has two 5 volt connections, one here and one here. You have got two 5 volt connections. So one 5 volt is being used by the relay itself. And so what's left is another 5 volt. So to run these properly, we what we have done is we have wired the positives together here and the, we have also grounded them together. And we have just, just have a look at the breadboard. Here's the other 5 volt from the from the Pi and that's being connected to the relay again. This, this yellow thing, this yellow jumper, that's, that's here and this is being connected to the other 5 volt of the Pi and the violet, the violet jumper that is the, that is, that is for grounding. So, um, here is, here it is grounded to the Pi, as you can see. Now we are using this, we are using Cayenne to control it remotely through Wi-Fi and that's, that's what we are going to show in this project. And as you can see this is going to be the future, this is automation. Uh, I, 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 had, I prefer using my phone for doing this but I have one phone and I'm recording that with this phone. So yeah. Mm, this is what you see when you open the smartphone app. This is the desktop version. This is on the browser. I have signed in here. That's my account. That's my Raspberry Pi connected. That's that's just the dashboard here. You can configure the dashboard. This is what I have on my dashboard. CPU, RAM, storage, processes, network speed, CPU temperature. That's pretty basic stuff. And these are my GPIO connections. Oh, I forgot to mention here's also an LED this is a bit very of oh, come on come on s7 focus okay so this oh, out of focus again okay so this is a basic red LED that's a 1000 ohm resistor that's again connected to to a spare GPIO pin on the Pi and that's that's been set up with that and it's been grounded as usual so let's just start with the LED switch here I'll just come on, focus. Here I'll just be tapping on the LED switch and let me just move my camera there so you can see how it just switches on. There it is. Let's let me just switch off the light. There it switches on. And if I again switch it off that it switches off pretty pretty fast uh, uh, okay now let's get to the interesting part let's just use the relays so I am you this is a four channel relay but I'm using three channels actually because apparently the third channel has some kind of a problem it's it's not providing power well and I don't want to risk this I will I will investigate it after my project is done tomorrow at school uh, so yeah let's just see the fun stuff these are my relay switches relay switch relay switch 2 relay switch 3 and as as was the case of the led i'll just be switching them on from here and you'll be seeing how these strips they turn on let's start with relay switch 1 there that's right that's pretty bright. Let me just turn down the brightness here. That's it. 
then switch it off let me turn on relay switch 2 2 there there switch it off relay switch 3 well this is not actually 3 this is actually the 4th channel I'm not really using the 3rd channel as I said before so let's turn it off now we'll try switching multiple relay switches together so let's first just go relay switch 3 then relay switch 1 then relay switch 2 as you can see it's powering the 3 strips pretty well no drops in brightness whatsoever so that's 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 the point of this mm, let me just switch off the relays uh, they, they are actually hurting my eyes so yeah come on focus okay so that's 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 where this type of circuit comes in we are using the other 5 volt power there's also 3.3 volt but why not use the 5 volt when you have it and I am powering the Pi through this wall adapter it's a Motorola turbo charger huh. so yes that's the project and this is kind dashboard I would have liked to show this through my phone but as I said I have only one phone so hope you like this video and till next time